So when you order Right Start Mathematics, you get a big giant box with all of these things. So as you can see, there's quite a lot to it. But when I first saw the program online, I saw that I already had a few of the items. I didn't want to buy them again, so I was happy to learn that I was able to buy what I didn't have individually. And um, this was especially good because this is an expensive program and I needed to save money where I could. I was also able to save more money by buying the Math Card Games Kit, which I'll show you in a minute. So to give you an idea of what I did, I'll just go through what I already had. But you might just want to buy the full package. So I had the matte balance that comes with weight, colored tiles which comes in four different colors, tally sticks. The program comes with plain ones but my son loves working with the colored ones and that's what we use. I already had some 10 grams. I have a few different sets. You can get magnetic ones, wooden ones and plastic ones. I also had a couple of sets of geometric solids already as you can see but these particular shapes are the ones you need for the program. I also had two geo boards with rubber bands. These are really great and you can use them for making all different kinds of shapes with the rubber bands and the pegs on the flip side are arranged differently so that you can use different angles which you need for your different triangles. As a side point, I came across this really neat geo board which isn't part of the program and you can use it to make different stuff too like circle and a clock and things like that. And we had a calculator so we didn't buy theirs. They don't use a scientific calculator, they just use a simple one. The program comes with place value cards, base 10 picture cards and abacus tile cards. We had some place value cards from before and we use them instead. They're plastic and they're durable. And we were able to print the other cards from the website and we just laminated those to make them more durable. Moving on to things I needed to buy. I needed to buy this geared clock. This is pretty neat. You have to move the minute hand to move the hour hand. These centimeter cubes. I needed a reflector. You use this in different ways. So far, we have been using it to look at symmetrical shapes and to reflect shapes from the geo board. I have never seen anything like this before, so it's a really interesting part of the program. So the program uses these panels. You use them to make different three-dimensional shapes. We haven't used them yet, so that's why they're still in their packaging. This right here is used for measuring angles, and then there was this CD. The Math Card Games kit included everything else I needed. So it comes with the Math Card Games book, which has over 300 games and a CD. I'll give you a glimpse of that later. It comes with all the cards you need for the math games. So money cards, basic number cards, fraction cards, clock cards, and multiplication cards. It also comes with two fraction charts, and of course, the kit comes with the all-important abacus. Now, we already had an abacus that was very expensive. We thought it was really pretty and we really look forward to using it. But then we found out about this one. It's a central part of the program and it was designed especially to help kids supertize and visualize numbers. Honestly, this is such a good idea that it just makes me feel sad that I didn't use it when I was a kid. So this is the main book. It's the Right Start Mathematics Level A Teaching Guide. So it starts off by giving you the objectives for Level A and it tells you what topics will be covered and addressed. So there's numeration, place value, addition and subtraction and so on. Next, there is some suggested reading in terms of children's books that you can read with your kiddo that'll help them to become familiar with the ideas as they do the lessons. Here you have a list of materials that you need that are not included in the program, which you should be able to find around your house. So things like tape, a stapler, measuring cups, and random things you can weigh, and so on. Then you have a small section here talking about how the program was developed. There's some general thoughts on teaching mathematics, which is an interesting read. Here, they're just briefly covering what's new in the second edition. 
They explain how the daily lessons are structured. So you begin with the objectives and the materials you need to complete the lesson. The actual lesson begins with what they call a warm-up and this can mean things like a song, a quick review of previous lessons or memory work. Then there are the activities and the lessons will sometimes include an explanation for teachers about why the activity is important. Then you have worksheets, but not every lesson has these, in fact there's only a few for the whole level. These also include games to reinforce the concepts that's taught, which is a great aspect of the program. The lessons end with a conclusion where your child is asked a few short questions about what they learned. Moving on to the table of contents, as you can see there are 132 lessons for level A and that's about one lesson for each day of the school year in the States, which is what they recommend you do. As you can see here there are about 5 assessments spread out throughout the program. So let's have a look at one of the lessons. This is lesson 3 which is about sorting. So it starts off telling you about the objectives. For example, this is about practicing supertasking quantities 1 to 4. Then it gives you a list of the materials you need to complete the lesson. So things like tiles, tally sticks and various containers for sorting. Then you begin with a warm up. In this case, you are singing the Yellow is the Sun song and this involves also doing a few activities. And then you move on to more activities, which here are making patterns with the tiles and sorting tiles and other objects. And then the lesson ends with a quick question for your child, where you ask them to show you a number of fingers on their hand. So I'll quickly go through what an assessment looks like. So basically you have an assessment sheet like this. Again, it tells you the objectives and the materials you need. Then you do some activities and play some games from the Math Card Games book. And then based on how your kiddo performs, you'll fill in the assessment sheet to keep a record and to help you target areas where you need to focus on. At the back of the book, you have the appendix where there are materials that you need to do the lessons. But these pages also come in loose leaf form printed on cardstock. As always, I laminate mine to make them last longer. And this is the level A worksheet booklet. And as you can see, compared to the guide, it is extremely thin. That's because this program focuses mainly on play-based learning and not on worksheets. And here is what they look like. Finally, there's the math card games book. Here are the contents. As you can see, the games are divided into categories. So if you're doing a lesson on addition, head on to that section and play a few games from there. And if you're doing a lesson on clockwork, you can choose to play some games from that section. The book will recommend particular games, but you can also just play them as you like. There's a game log so you can keep track of what you have done and who played. I recommend using a photocopy of this because you only get one sheet and you're gonna run out of room. Again, at the back of the book, the appendix will have all the relevant sheets you need to complete the games. Basically, for each game, it'll tell you what the objective is, give you a bit of a background on it, how many people can play, and what you will need and how to play it. And this is what the inside looks like. Oh, and it comes with a CD. And just so you know, I didn't end up buying the folding meter stick, 4-in-1 ruler, drawing board set and the plastic coins. I already had some plastic coins and the rest I don't think they used in level 1 if I'm not mistaken. After looking at what's out there, we bought this program and have been loving it so far. My son is only 3 but he absolutely enjoys it, he thinks it's fun and he wants to keep doing it. We don't do a lesson every day, we just go at his pace and follow his lead. We have completed 55 lessons and 3 of the 5 assessments and he seems to be doing really well and grasping those concepts. It's been working for us so far so we highly recommend it. One plus nine equals ten. Two, two. 
plus eight equals ten. Eight plus seven equals ten.